so in my videos I like to concentrate my scrutiny on the people that profit from the transgender ideology. Today I'm going to be talking about a consultant who teaches trans women to be feminine. So when I think about the fact that there is a person whose literal job is to coach trans women and to teach them how to be quote unquote more feminine. My initial reaction is a little bit of a cringe. I think we're supposed to think that this guy is like an authority or something, but I'm not really sure who he is. I feel like the idea of a cis woman teaching trans women what it means to be a woman is kind of weird. What the fuck are you talking about? Just the concept of having a cis female try to show a transgender woman how to be more feminine is ridiculous. This I would agree with. There's really no definition of what feminine is. Go to the dictionary, read the word femininity, let me know what you come back with. Femininity doesn't have to be heels and a dress. It can be, yeah, I don't know, dogs and pants. Like, that's what I like wearing every day and I, I think I'm feminine. The thing that makes you feminine is not your dogs and pants. I help individuals who are transgender, transitioning, or exploring gender fluidity present their best feminine self. This is what you do if you wouldn't qualify as a finishing school teacher. <laughs> what do you mean you're teaching people to be, be, be more feminine? Like, why? Not people, mate. Men. I've always been very conscious of the fact that I'm a woman because the way I've been treated, the way my life has been at work, at school, and I've always had a, a vagina, so society has treated me accordingly. And that, my friend, is something a trans woman will never, ever, ever understand. Most of my practice is matrimonial and family law, and I also do some civil litigation. Do the sheer black tights and the new Gucci pumps. I'm a bit worried I might not make it to the end of this video. When I'm working, when I'm working as an attorney, when I'm going to court, I don't want being trans to be what's in front of people. Right. I want an attorney to be in front of people, and that's why Monica's advice is so valuable. He likes dressing up in women's clothes, but he don't want it to affect his work. Oh, I love Oh, it's cute. Okay, really cute. <sighs> Overdrawing her upper lip a bit because women tend to have much less space there than men, so that's kind of a feminizing technique. These male trans women put like a upper line on their lip to make it look bigger. First retail job, I would work the late shifts, and so I'd be there from, you know, 4 to 9 p.m. I think I might have encountered the most annoying woman on the face of the earth. Guys would come in and they would say that they're shopping for their girlfriend. Most of them struggle to even shop for themselves, let alone their girlfriends. And I'd be like, so Mark, like, tell me about your girlfriend. What does she look like? Like, what's her taste like? And they would describe her to me. Those blokes that hang around the women's laundry department. I thought to myself, maybe this person is uncomfortable. Perhaps they're shopping for themselves. I actually kind of feel sorry for her now. I was like the number one salesperson in the store. I don't find her annoying anymore. That was sort of my first taste of the world of gender expression. What is it that makes you believe in femininity? Conflicting feelings about it. Conflicting feelings are coming from your socialisation and your understanding of your socialisation. Like I've spent my whole life trying not to conform to some like archaic vision of what being feminine is. You've got an analysis of how you've been treated. To me, th this seems like it's for men. You're nearly there, my sister. Come on, just a little bit more, a little bit more. Saying this, I don't have any uh, like feelings inside me that I'm not in the right gender. So maybe that would be more important. I understand why women don't want to misgender or make these guys feel bad. But at the same time, women aren't taught to stand up for themselves, man. Stand up for yourself. It's something that I don't really know about. You know about it, mate. You have lived it. Don't make any concessions for blokes like this. They don't give a fuck about you. To have some degree of success in the professional world, I don't want to be a distraction. That's what he doesn't want to turn up to his job looking like, because he thinks people will judge him. But before I started working with Monica... Well, how do you think women feel? My view of femininity was limited. Maybe I should start working with Monica too because my view of femininity is pretty limited as well. It didn't occur to me, ridiculous though it may seem, that at age 65 I had to dress differently. 
blokes don't actually have to do that. <laughs> the first time I see what somebody brings, it's too tight, too low cut, too short, too sparkly. But being transgender is nothing about stereotypes. No, no, no. Yes. <laughs> Those features really speak to how men are taught to fetishize women and how men are taught to be attracted to women and sexualize women. And that's why they appear in every closet of every person I've worked with. I'm just saying. Vag grazing. It's really short. At this point. Mm. Short. You, but you look so happy about that. Was, You're like, yes, it is she's like, it's vag grazing. I have no idea what she, what she just said. I think that a successful transition has a lot to do with wealth. Clearly, she's making a mint off of these guys. Yes, my clients are affluent. <laughs> Funny. Making money as well educated, mostly white men uh, for the vast majority of their lives. She's figured out how to make money off of these guys without actually having to sleep with them. Good on her in some ways, but like, she's probably worth a bit more than that. Uh, I'm Gina, and this is. Lorenzo, my little guy. So we're supposed to believe that this guy is a woman because he's got a woman's name and a, and a stereotypically woman's dog. Felix is my brother. He uh, was born a uh, female biologically and I was born male and last summer we both came out to each other. What's the betting that their parents were real traditionalists? We waited until our, our mother, our father passed away first. We waited wait until our mother passed away and then... To me, this is fucking obvious. And then we waited a few more years after that, just in case... She, she came was, back. Right. <laughs> <laughs> ha 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 ha! <laughs> that. Can nobody else see this obvious stuff? You can definitely see some trans people uh, taking issue with trying to mimic heteronormative gender. How much longer are women actually going to stand for this insult? As much as I, I'm weird about the word passing, it's also safer if people just assume that I have always been male. Mate, I'm not gonna lie, if I saw you on the street, I would just clock you as a lesbian. Sorry. It's like, I'm not gonna get murdered that way. If that's the reason why you're transing, is as, as a protection thing, um, this is not the right route for you. You're better off just being yourself, innit? And I suppose there's that need to like go to the deli, get yourself a sandwich without it being some big political statement. Just be yourself. Fuck this shit. You know, I, I watched movies and I read magazines and I desired a certain feminine representation. <sighs> like, so if you watch women walk, like their heads are sometimes like much more even. There's not like that mm. much bounce. This is what women learn at finishing school. She finds it empowering to be more conservative. Back to finding this woman annoying. And I find it empowering to be like, I have this like feminine beauty and I love it and I want to share it with you. I want to share it with the world. I want to show it off. The idea that this is empowering, ridiculous. Helping me feel like I'm not like some little weirdo in the world that is just a target for harassment. Feminine guys, so what? Who cares? She does seem way happier. Also way more, like, fierce. You just need some dignity, man. Just stop being ridiculous. Any cis woman off the street may not be a good authority on that, but Monica has really done her homework and really, like, put in a lot of time with trans people and really taken a lot of careful effort in getting to know us. Because she's making a fucking fortune off you, you fucking idiot. That's a really wonderful feeling when you're entrusting someone with Things that you ordinarily wouldn't tell anybody about. Passing is overrated. <laughs> Be a feminine male. Live your life. This feeling of kind of empowerment as an artist. Sorry, but the empowerment chat, fuck off. Take these products and these brushes and these colors that I have. Retching forever. Pretty profound for me. Profound, really. They didn't have that time in life to experiment and feel pretty. Adolescent girls, you know, they, they constantly feel pretty. I've arrived in a community carving out a niche that I'm passionate about. How can you be passionate about this? Femininity is a personal choice. If you have to make an effort, if you have to think about it, it's not natural. Why is it so hard for people to understand this? I am kind of a high femme representation of what femininity is. Okay. This is how she gets validation, is making other people look and feel like what she thinks is good. 
are what society says is good. If someone wants to wear a dress, like let them wear a dress, you know? Just shave your legs first.